Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title, I will be reviewing this wig. I just wanted to hop on and show you the finished look. And if you want to see how I got this look, then stay tuned. And I'll be back at the end of the video. Okay, so here's the box. And what comes inside is the wig, the wig cap. And it came with an elastic band. This type of an elastic band was not the ones I'm used to. Y'all will see in the video how I was struggling to put this on the wig. <laughs> but anyways, the wig they sent over is the 13 by 4 lace front wig. It has pre-plucked baby hairs and the density is 150. It is natural black and they claim to be tangle free, no shedding, soft and bouncy. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see if that is true. I did get it in body wave and I said in the video later on, but the shipping, they claim to be two to three days. I did get mine in three days. And all the details that I'm talking about will be on the screen and down in the description box below. The wig is $292.33 for this exact wig that I have. It did not come bleached. I did bleach it myself. I initially wanted to do a middle part, so I kind of parted it in two pieces for a middle part. But later on, you see, I will opt out to do a side part. But yeah, just showing y'all how I bleached the hair. I just used BW2 Bleach with some 40 volume developer. You know, nothing too major, nothing too fancy. Um, I did use two pieces of aluminum foil because, like I said, this is 24 inches, so it was a little long, sis. <laughs> so, I'm going to stop talking and then just let it play out. This is very self-explanatory. So after I washed the bleach out, I used the um, Shimmer Lights shampoo. Actually, I just used conditioner. Um, I like to place the wig on my head to kind of get a feel for it since I am going to be sewing on an elastic band. I also like to put it on, see where I need to put the elastic band. Sometimes I mark where my ear is so I know to sew it right there. Um, Y'all will see the struggle that I had trying to do this god dang elastic band. But once I'm done fitting it to my head, then I will start sewing on the band. Like I said, this is a new one. I've never had the ones that have the clips, the adjustable clips with them. I always just use, you know, the regular one that just stretch out, regular elastic. So this is my first attempt to sew this on. It was a little bit difficult just because it was a little thicker than the ones I'm used to. But nevertheless, it all worked out later on in the video. trying to do layers is to have that cute little I ain't even take the dang tag off <laughs> let me do that real quick there we go so that's that I cut this side down just a little bit just to kind of shape my face um I think I kind of want it just a little bit shorter so I'm gonna do this whole section right here I just start and I just start cutting and you just cut down I got to turn because I'm leaning over my trash can and then just like that so here it's gone and I'm gonna brush it comb it out 
the rest of that out and then do like that so since I just cut a little bit more I'm going to re curl this one got this curling wand from Sally's I believe if I'm not mistaken I wanted a pickaboo of blonde I always do middle parts so I decided to do a side part on this one I'm actually going to have to take this off and undo this elastic band on here because if I cut this, it's still going to be like rising up a little bit on the tab. So my elastic band needs to come down just a little bit more so it can tug on right here and keep this down. This side of the elastic band is doing pretty good because when I cut this off, it's just going to lay like that. So yeah, I like it. This wig is definitely very much giving me grown woman vibes let's see if i can back up a little bit so yeah i really like it i never do a side part i definitely wanted to pick a blue pick a blue pick a blue goddamn <laughs> blind going on so yeah if i do want to move it into a middle part i still did it right down the middle so then it'll be blind equally on both sides so yeah i'm about to take this off really quickly adjust this elastic band and then I may do a little bit more plucking. We're gonna get a little bit of baby hair, a little bit of baby hairs right here. And then baby girl, we're gonna be all set. So yeah, I haven't cut the lace off yet because I'm still customizing the, the wig and it is it just makes everything go by a lot faster. Can I talk? Y'all, I'm sorry. I have not recorded a video in a little minute right now. So I'm like tumbling and struggling all over my words, trying to find the right thing. This is okay. So. I'm about to cut. Oh, y'all got y'all sila, honey. I'm about to cut the um legs off now. So. you guys have already seen how I installed the wig and baby she is giving pretty much grown woman vibes that's what it's giving me um I haven't did a style like this in so long like I've only had a side part I think like once last year I did on a wig and then I wanted to give it a little bit of color so if I do do a middle part it'll be equal so I did it right in the front I didn't want I didn't want it on top so I think it is the perfect pickaboo color if i must say so myself so obviously we are working with nadula hair thank you so much nadula for sponsoring this video um i've already showed you all the packaging and how the wig came etc so now we're going to get into the important details <laughs> shipping was dhl shipping came in three days literally the fastest shipping ever um i didn't have any problems with it having a smell it does not tangle um the only problem that i will say right now that i have with this hair is the parting space it's not much parting space so as you see i did a subtle side swoop because literally the track starts right here so if you want a deep side part deep middle part you're not going to get it with this wig but i feel like it kind of depends on your preference like some people like them deep side parts some people don't in my case it really don't matter because i really don't wear side parts like that anyway but the hair is so full i believe it was 24 inches i did cut a little bit of prince like shaking the freaking camera <laughs> i did cut a little bit of layers just because i wanted my bang to be you know 
like this so when you put it back it'll be all cute and stuff like that so I did a few layers just to kind of shape my face and give me that little I call it like butterfly effect with the bang and also I wanted to mention hold on getting a call so also also I made the wig glueless at the top it's glueless as you can see up in the video that I had already put in previously I glued down the sideburns because I I already talked about it. I messed up my last event, so whatever. But honestly, I will give this wig a 10 out of 10. It literally, when I pulled it out the box, I can tell y'all right then, I was not expecting it to give this. Like, pretty much girl on my vibes. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to pop in and say. Y'all saw me install it, pull it out the box, and I give it a 10 out of 10. So, y'all need to go cop this wig for the summer, honey. And as always, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.